Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be making a really cool cocktail. And this, I just noticed, is stopped and doing its thing. So, I'll show you how cool this is. Woo! Um, I don't want to overdo it. So, okay, so we're going to be doing the pretty much the same thing with th this cocktail. This is called the Lost Potion Number no. 9. Woohoo! Okay, so first of all, we're going to be throwing in a couple of strawberries in here. We're going to be just smashing them a little bit to bring out those flavors. And then, and then we are going to be putting some... And where did my other side go? Usually I do it on this side, but whatever. So, I am going to be putting the ice on this side. All right, then we're going to be adding two ounces of vodka, and I actually have vodka right here. And so we're going to be doing two ounces and a half. Sorry. Two ounces of vodka here, and then we're going to do an ounce on this side. Half an ounce, sorry. So it's two and a half ounces of vodka. And then we're going to be using some raspberry liqueur. I'm going to be using some St. George's, which is quite easy to make. Okay. So it's half an ounce. And then we're going to be using also half an ounce of pomegranate. And I'm using Ruski standard, which is Russian standard. Here we're going to use also half an ounce. And I thought of going a little bit with like a scientist professor look today. Just to be funny. Um, also because I love it. But I think so. Let's shake this up. And usually I go the other way around, but it's totally cool. Let's shake it, shake it, shake it. strain it into my little beaker I have here. I have another one here. I used that earlier for my experiments. All right, here we go. And then double straining this. This is delicious, by the way. You can add a little lemon if you really want to, like just a little bit of lime or lemon, depending on how sour. And I double strain because there's strawberry in there. You can also use strawberry vodka, uh, and that's actually quite lovely as well. All right. I'm just gonna toss everything in there. Okay, so then after that, I am going to garnish it with the little strawberry. You can do two strawberries. And I have shaped it into a heart. And what I did is I cut off the top where the green is and then I did kind of like a V in the middle and shaped it a little bit more. So there it is. This is my, um, let's see how I can get this to work for me. It's not working. Here we go. Ah, I got it to work. Here we go. So I'm going to put it this way and then we are going to be adding our dry eyes. Some people put the dry eyes first. I kind of do it the other way around. So, uh, the Word of caution with the ice. This is just, you know, very dangerous. So number one, do not touch it with your hands. It will literally make your fingers blue and it hurts a lot. So do not touch it with your hands. So your tongue. Uh, number two, wait until all the vapors, all the coolness has dissipated. Um, number, because otherwise it can hurt you. Uh, number three, when you're going to dispose of it, put it outside in a very well ventilated area and also um, open the, op the box or whatever container that you have it into. Uh, and then there was a number four, but I forgot. Just ventilate it, do not touch, do not eat until it's all done. 
All right, so this particular one is not, um, what do you call it? It's not, it's actually medical grade. It's, my friend brought it from her lab. Uh, she did not do that. So here it is, it's starting to fume already. So as soon as I put it in here, it should fume even more. And as you can tell, it's now attached to my, it was attached to my All right, so there you go, there you have it. If that is our love potion uh, number nine. Okay, bad idea. There we go. Okay, uh, I am not gonna try touching that because okay, that was uh, but it is pretty cool. So just be careful. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, and um, I pulled, I didn't stick my hand in there like you saw because that's cold, very cold. Uh, so at any rate, so there you have it. Let me uh, actually move it this way while I can keep the. <laughs> um, man, I'm having all sorts of issues. I'm just afraid of coming close to it. So <laughs> you can drink this after it's all done um, going back to the yeah, gaseous state. So like it's all gone. You see no more fumes, then you can drink it. At any rate, I hope uh, that you have enjoyed this one here, this video. This one here actually has um, glitter inside. So you could probably see the glitter. Uh, I put some edible glitter in there and that's like, that's actually just Kool-Aid. Uh, Kool-Aid with glitter. And that's fun for the kids, right? Uh, the adults fun, fun for the kids. Thank you so much for watching again. Wash your hands, be safe. Mwah! Tons of love to you.